come up a little short. Back to the 17th. Yeah, see if Jordan can uh, get this par put down, pick up a point. There's a good stroke. That's more like what we're used to seeing from Michael on the greens. What a nice souvenir for somebody. Well, this fall, NBC has a new series from J.J. Abrams, Out of the Darkness. Hope lights the way. Revolution is coming Mondays this fall to NBC. To the 17th tee. Mark Rippon on the tee. And Gary, he has nine iron. The same club he hit back at the par 3 12th. All the way on the right side of the tee again. Aiming left. Yeah. This be cutting a little bit. Tough hole location to yeah. get to with a cut over on the far left-hand side of the green. Not a good safe shot. And John Smoltz after signing a number of baseballs, eight iron. I think he moves a little to the left easier than Mark Rippon does. This starts right at it, Gary. Is it the right distance or right over the top of the flag stick? It's always one of the things that's uh, tough to tough to judge here at uh, this altitude at over 6,200 feet. Uh, how far is the ball going to go? Most of the time, uh, Dottie, you figure, what, about 10%? But yeah, and I think it might be a little more than that for the guys who fly it really, really high. But overall, yeah, I'd, I'd go with 10. Eight iron for uh, Elway. Amazing how far it can go sometimes if you get it up in the air and you get a little downwind. Mm -hmm. It can really sail, it seems like. And you throw in a little adrenaline and see ya. Well, this is not in the air very well. That was a terrible miss hit. That's really unlike him. Well, fans along the 17th enjoying another beautiful day here at Lake Tahoe. Mark Rippon, the uh, leader at uh, 39 points and a couple of different ways to get around the lake. There's a nice relaxing uh, sailboat ride or you can work a little harder with a paddleboard. As musicians, we put a lot of work into how things sound. And as an artist, I'm a stickler about how I want my fans to hear it. You know, JBL headphones, it's just always been quality from, from the low ends to the high ends. I think they put a lot of work and effort into making these things sound crystal clear. Man, I'm telling you what, you might as well be in the band when you're listening to those things. This is your moment, your time to shine. Analyze your situation. See your target. Yardage on your wrist. You know the number. Your time is now. Play with confidence. Play the touchscreen approach S3 from Garmin. The Monday after the Olympics, executive producers Dick Wolf and Mark Burnett will take eight celebrities into the battlefield to learn the true meaning of courage under fire. These stars are going to try to keep up with the special operations personnel who put it on the line for America. There are no stunt doubles. This is real. Live ammo, real explosives, real danger. Are you kidding me? Stars earn stripes Monday after the Olympics here on NBC. Back at the 23rd American Century Championship, a record-setting crowd today, over 14,000 on hand to watch the action. Moments ago, Tony Romo playing his second shot at the 16th. Yeah, forced to uh, try to turn it right to left. These big Ponderosa Pines blocking his approach to the green. And a bit fortunate, gets it to uh, hop through that cross bunker. So, be about a 40-yard pitch left. Up at 18. Carson Palmer playing his second shot. Par 5, 18th. 
nice tee shot. Okay, filters through that tree that protects the front right, but uh, no harm. Back to the center.